Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell Power Edge R6515. In this video, we're gonna show you how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell Power Edge R6515. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video will be specifically dedicated to how to rack your server. Uh, so let's just go ahead and hop into the good stuff. Uh, all you're really gonna need is your rack and your sliding rails. Uh, you can technically do static as well, but we're gonna be doing sliding rails in this case, and that's it. So let's just go ahead and hop into the fun stuff. All right, so I like to do this with two people. It makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna do this to number nine right here. So on the back, you'll notice there's two points so we're actually just going to push those in to start and then on the front we're going to push these two in but you need to actually move this piece over so we'll show you that in a second so angel again we're gonna do number nine so he's just going to push the two points in you can hear him just clicked into place so now i'm going to come here to nine but if i try to push this in right now it won't physically go in what you'll need to do is this piece actually comes out and when this comes out, you will be able to push your two holes in, and then this will click back into place and lock it in. So right now, if I were to shake this or move this, it is firmly in there. I, um, I would, I'd be able to actually use the rails and everything is physically in there and be able to support the weight of the server now. So uh, what we'll do now is show you how to put the right rail in. All right, so this one says right front. So we're gonna want to put this on the right side with this part on the front. So Angel, we're gonna do number nine again. So again, there's just two points in the back. He's just gonna clip them right into place. So those are locked in. And then when I want to put this in, I need to push this over, line these up, and it'll just click right into place. And now it's locked in. Again, if I wanna take it out, I would just push this over and I can physically pull this out. So I'll line this back up and it's locked into place. So now what we'll do is we'll show you how to use the inner rails and actually put our server into the rack. All right, so the sliding rails are just as they, as they sound. They slide out, so they will lock into place. Now, if you want to push your rails back in, there's a blue piece on the side. You just pull it this direction, so you'll pull this, and then the rails will slide back in. So again, they're just that easy. They just slide out. And I will note before we uh, put the server in, there are four notches right here that are carved out on the rails. And on the server, you will notice there are these rivets and these rivets are designed to go directly in there. So what we like to do is start with the back two. So we set those two in. You got yours in, Angel? Mm -hmm. And then we just kind of come straight down almost like a hinge and make sure everything is properly lined up and it'll just click into place. All right, so now that our server is in the rack, if you wanted to physically push it back, you'll notice you can't, it's locked into place. So the two blue buttons that we mentioned earlier for the inners will help unlock it. So we're gonna take those and push them this direction and then just slide this straight back and into the rack. So if you wanna remove your server from the rack, you're just gonna push right here and right here, and this will open up. And over here, same deal. This will open up, and then you will be able to actually slide this back out, and now you've released your server. Well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom-built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lines of business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.